Hi guys, it's me Paula and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Paula, as I've mentioned, and I do a lot of different sub unboxings, beauty hauls, fashion try-ons and various other sort of things on this uh, channel. A bit of everything really. Uh, it's absolutely sweltering up here in the northeast of Scotland today. It is like a little heat wave and if you're from Scotland, you'll know we don't often get super hot weather. So it's somewhat unusual um, and I've got the fan on so if you hear the weird whirring noise in the background that's what it is and it's just we're not used to this type of weather so we're not catered with things like air conditioning inside air conditioners and things in, in Scotland and it's actually getting hotter every single year so I don't know if it won't be long until we get that things like that anyway hope you're enjoying the week and looking forward to the weekend only one day to go and it's only a week off till the kids go off on holiday so Anyway, so this, this video here is a bud, budget friendly, it's part of my series that I started last month called like a budget friendly bumper sub, subscription box haul. Now what this really is, the concept of this is trying to find fun, affordable subscription boxes that will be something you'd enjoy receiving in the post but might not be something that would be too costly on your pocket. Now, it's a, I've done a bit of everything here, you know, I've got a, a variety of random different subscription boxes and most of them, you know, pretty much all of them are under, well, they all are under £20, most of them are under £15, most of them are under sort of £10 actually. So, what I thought I would do, I mean, I could include things like Glossy Box and Look Fantastic into this one, but I actually already, I do separate sort of in boxes of them. So... We're just going to dig in. So the first one I'm going to look at is a subscription, I say subscription box, but these are kind of subscription bags, aren't they? And this is a company called Socks in a Box. Now, what they do is every month you get a pair of socks. It doesn't sound that exciting, but it's always something that you need, isn't it? And the concept of this is £6.50 a pair if you go like a rolling monthly subscription. If you decide to do it for six months, you'd get it for £35 for the six months. That works out, you know, about £5.20 a pair of socks. Um, and it works at £6.50 a year if you do it a year. So, so what am I saying? Six, £65 for the year. I need to get right because, yeah, I always need to muddle up the subscription box for some reason. So £65 for a year. So again, it takes around about the sort of £5 mark for a pair of socks. Now, you might say, well, that is actually quite expensive for a pair of socks. But I'll tell you a bit more about it once we look in. Now, you can either have a man's pair of socks, a woman's pair of socks, or you can pay um, a bit more to get a his and her box, which would be obviously a pair of man's socks, a pair of lady socks. Okay, and obviously I've just done the lady socks. Oh, they're cute. Now, what uh, it says here, however, I never leave a pair of... I never leave home without a nice pair of socks. We hope you're loving your socks. And June's designs have you jumping for joy. There's a little Benjamin Franklin quote there. Um, okay, so this one here. So it's nicely wrapped. Socks in a box. And here they are. So nice pair of socks. And these ones, they're not just your standard sort of socks that you would, you know, get, you know, just in your supermarket. What they say about the socks is they're hand-linked toe for comfort. They've got a reinforced heel, they're top quality cotton to make them more durable and they've got elastane for um, a comfortable grip. And what I like in particular about this box, and actually this is what makes it special, is that for every pair that they sell, they will donate a pair of socks to someone that's homeless, which I think is, so they obviously like have a homeless charity they link up with and that pair of, they will donate a pair of socks for every socks pair of socks that someone actually buys which I think is really really makes this particular box special so if you're, inter if, if you're interested in that I'll drop down the subscription code at the you know underneath my uh, in the information bit here okay so that's socks in a box not much more you can say about that really the next subscription is one that I really like and it's I like it because it's like an independent craft artisan jeweler crafter she, it's a lady called Beth. She's it's a company called BB Design House on Etsy, and again, I'll drop her in. I'll drop her Etsy handle down below. And what she does is she makes jewelry, and I really like it because she's got a really nice backstory. So this is her. Is there anything else in here just now? 
yes, just a little note. And what she said there, that's her logo. And it's on Etsy. She says, thank you very much for featuring my subscription to your YouTube channel. Oh, thank you. No problem, Beth. You're welcome. Hope you like your brand new pair. Love Beth. So that, um, so that's uh, basically with, with BB Design House. It's £45 for a three-month subscription. So it works out at £15 a pair of readings. Now, if you go to an Etsy, Etsy um, shop, you can buy different types of, of readings on there and you you know you can choose which ones you want for this one you won't know which ones you're getting it's part of something called a reclaim collection so what she does is she make she uses the kind of off cuts from her other jewelry making and uses them um, you know the clays and the resins to make earrings for this reclaim collection which i think is fantastic because it's sustainable it means that things aren't going to waste she's getting she's getting money for it which is also making lovely unique pairs of jewelry which also means that every piece of jewelry that you get it will be very different to something someone else gets be, or there'll be subtle differences because of the different resins, the different look of the jewellery, the different look of the earrings and obviously it's sustainable. So what happens as well, you can also have, if you're, it's a great idea if you're buying somebody a present, a gift that keeps on giving, like I said last month, you know, they're getting a pair of earrings every month. You can, uh, if you do that, you, she can add a gift message for you to your friend or your family and you know, it's she, what she did, which I think is absolutely lovely, is that when you sign up, she asks you for your sort of favourite colours and earrings and things like that. So she'll try and get you earrings that you like will be close to the kind of colours that you like and avoiding colours that you don't like. And the other thing I like about her as well is that her backs are really interesting, that she has a, you know, she has a design studio in Dorset. She has a graphic design course that she teaches sort of, you know, um, young people about graphic design and making things. And then she also shows them this as this is an example of how you can use your skills as an artist to, to, to make a business, which I think is fantastic. Now, I said to her last month, my sort of favourite colours at the moment were kind of blues, yellows at the moment, I'm really into yellows at the moment, and purples. So let's have a look and see what I got this month. So this is the box, nicely packaged, lovely, her, her emblem there. And let's open up and see which ones I have got this month. Now, I got blue pair last month, which I was delighted with. Oh, and I'm just saying yellow is my, one of my favourites. I asked her for a yellow pair and I've got a lovely yellow pair of earrings as well. I've got quite a few like yellowy jumpers and tops with touches of yellows in it at the moment. So that'll be absolutely beautiful. It's lovely, really well made, lovely smooth jewellery. I just think these are absolutely gorgeous and I think they're just something different, a little bit abstract, which I like, a little bit boho, which I enjoy as well. So if you didn't, even if you didn't want to uh, actually have a subscription box, you know, the £45 one, I'd recommend going along to her Etsy shop and have a look at the stuff that she's produced because, you know, you, you, know, you might want to buy some other jewellery. Now the next thing we're going to look at is, so I'm getting really uncomfortable in this chair at the moment, is a company called Willow and Wild and it's a nature inspired fun and learning box. And this is my little girl's name, Ale Alicia, because obviously it's a child's nature subscription box, nature and craft subscription box. Now I like these ones because I think you're always, especially in the summer holidays, you know, you're trying to think of things to do with your kids, if you're not, especially if you're not going on holiday or even things to take with you in holiday, you could take that with you and that would be quite easy to carry. Um, and what this box is, it is £10.95 £10 a month or if you or if you sign up for three months it takes it down to £9.75 a month. If you take it down to, if you take a six month membership it takes it down to £9 a month. Obviously you pay this up in a chunk though, so I paid £54 for six months and if obviously if you want to go for the 12 month membership um, it would, I think it's like 100 and something, it would take it down to £8.50 a month, which is actually really, you know, affordable for a little box. And here we go. So you get all this in the box. So first of all, let's have a look. So we've got a lot of lolly sticks this month. Let's have a look and see what all this is. Okay, so last month it was like growing peas and marigolds and things. So we've got a candle as well. I don't want to, oh. I wonder if this is to stop bees, it sort of flies, because it smells very citrusy. So obviously that's maybe something that you would have to do, do with mummy and daddy when you're a child, not on your own. Uh, okay, it says June's box. Now, welcome to June's box. And it says here, what's in this month's box? Grow organic cornflowers. I love cornflowers. 
grow organic courgettes, courgette and lemon cake, learn how to press flowers and leaves, which is interesting because I've just bought a flower press for my little girl. I remember flower pressing when I was a kid and I loved doing it, so I've actually brought, bought my little girl a flower pe press. Make a pressed flower tea like lantern, make tissue paper stars, oh sorry I'll just pause, sorry, always interrupted in this channel. Make tissue paper stars, butterfly identification quiz and a bug bingo game, so full of stuff. So here we've got some butterfly. Last year actually we got, I don't know if you've ever seen those kits where you can um, grow butterflies from like caterpillars. You get the little eggs, you put them out and then they hatch and then you can see the, the, the butterflies grow from their chrysalis and things and then you release them in the wild. So that, that's a really fun thing to do with kids. Uh, so we've got make a flower press lantern. So there we go, so some information there. That must be what the tea light's for. Uh, tissue paper stars using I think the lolly sticks well that's really pretty that's a really nice craft idea um, what's this one growing organic courgettes and then in the back a courgette and lemon cake and then we've got the organic corn flowers I love flat corn flowers and I'm definitely going to get my little girl to grow that in the garden then we've got like a bug bingo and it's a game a bug bingo card there and you've got little bug bingo cards there um, and then you've got these things for people to cut out for their bug bingo boards it's almost a big part of the game that's a really cool idea and then we've got paper for flower pressing we've got paintbrush the lolly sticks for the stars the tissue paper the glue, they've given us literally everything you need in the pack for doing this, to, for doing this. We've got the organic courgette seeds, cornflower seeds, and we've got compost, compost discs for putting in the plant pot. So basically everything that you need for that acti those activities, that's fab. So it's, I think that's well worth, well worth, like, well I'm paying £9, a, I paid £9 a month basically. So for £9 a month, that's fab. Even for 10 pounds 95 that's fab also as well something to mention is if you have more than one child they also just siblings box which gives you all that but enough for you know two children so i mean i you know if you have more than one child and they both want to do that and they're quite similar ages maybe they both want to do the activity that's a fab thing and it takes i think it's um i'm trying to look at the price siblings box is 13 pound 95 a month so actually for if it's of 10 95 you're only paying a couple of pounds more to get enough for two children, which is which is brilliant. Um, also, as well on their website, they do like standalone boxes with bigger packs of things for activities for the summer. So it's well worth having a look. But the next thing I've got is a bit different again. This is Packed Coffee, which is a coffee subscription. Now, I'll tell you, the coffee I got last month is amazing. You know when you buy these things, you're sometimes not sure how good they're going to be. And then you try it out and you decide. And this coffee is beautiful. Now, in fact, to be honest with you, on Father's Day, I had a lot of you know family came over in the garden. So my mum and dad, my sister, my brother-in-law, and their wee baby. And everybody was saying, where is this coffee from? It's absolutely amazing. Where did you buy it? Was it Sainsbury's, Tesco? And I said, oh, it's actually a coffee uh, subscription. So obviously, so actually my... Um, so my, my family went and took away some of the code just to, to see that they might subscribe as well. They're, they're going to consider subscribing because they love the coffee so much. Now, what this coffee subscription is, basically, well, it's a monthly coffee subscription, obviously. And what you can do is you can pick the house blend for £6.95, which is just, you know, there's a couple of house blends. They don't just do the one and they'll send you one of the house blends every month. You can pick, so my earrings come out. Um, you can pick a sort of more specialist one and you've got a bigger, bigger selection you can pick from that's £7.95 month, which is the one I get and then you get like a sort of top of the range really exclusive coffees for I think it's £9.95 a month and you know these, these are their kind of like their Blue Mountain special kind of coffees um, and it's really good um, now this is the bag of coffee so what you do is you get I'm trying to see. I got a bigger book class, book class last month, and if you're interested in the whole sort of backstory, and you want to see me go through the leaflet, 
because I don't think you get the leaflet in here this time and I don't know what I've done with it but it gives you a lot more information on um, on this particular company but what I do remember is that I think it's something like tw they pay 25% more than to the farmers than they would even on, even with fair trade so they have they, they get as good as a fair trade deal but actually they get 25% more with this company the farmers which I think is amazing um, I don't know that that's just a razor subscription it gives you some information about the, um, the the coffee there so the things that you choose when you choose the coffee you choose whether you want to have the house blend like I said the kind of spe premier one or the kind of really exclusive one you also decide whether you want it in a coffee bag like this and or a coffee pod so and it'll give you a selection of machines that you can use it er, that are compatible with it so you can pick like you know like your Nespresso, Tassimo, all the all the different ones. So you can have like the coffee pods, you can have the coffee bags, or you can have coffee beans. So if you like to to blend your own coffee beans down, you can also pick these, but in bean form. And also as well gives you a size of bag, so you can up your membership if you want, like you know, add a bit more money if you want a huge you know huge bag. But I think this for this one here, two fifty grams is quite a lot. Um, and it. You can smell it through there. So it's lovely packaging, sustainable packaging. Because instead of like the plastic sort of stuff, you can recycle that. It tells you details there. Also, as well, the third thing you can choose is well, you also choose if you want. It gives you a selection of type of beans, a type of of um, blend, in terms of what if you're having a loose coffee, what what kind of coffee maker are you using? Are you using a cafetiere? Are you using one of those bigger ones? Are you using one of those drip coffee? Uh, like you know those cold press ones and so it'll allow you to differentiate that and it'll also give you then a selection of coffees that you can pick from every month and it'll give you like an idea of what type of um, blend they are you know what kind of flavors what kind of notes where they're from so the one i picked this month and this is here from romera p uh, p berry which sounds really cool grown by and it tells you the company they are the coffee it tells you there it is black the hints of black currant syrup, it's a medium roast profile, it tells you when it was packed, roasted on and when it was packed, and it actually even tells you who who did it, who packed it, Andrew, and it says directly sourced from farm to cup. Now that's my M code, and I think it gives you five pounds off your first order. I'll drop that down below as well in case you are interested in subscribing, and it will give you five pounds off your first order order now this here is it, it, it says here it is also coarse grind and it's from Rwanda so it tells you a bit about it here grown by Buff Coffee Rwanda this lot contains peas berry beads produced from the random mutation of coffee cherries rather than producing two coffee beans the cherry concentrates its energy in producing an individual bean in a perfectly spherical shape the resulting beans rose very consistently Thanks to even side develop even size developing a coffee profile that is both high scoring and extremely delicious. The mouthfeel is juicy, acidity is lemon, sweetness is fructose, process is washed, and roast is medium. If you know what any of those things mean, I don't uh, particularly. So this is I'm very excited to to try this one because the last coffee was mm, amazing, and like I say, I got a lot of a lot of comments on it. Okay, the last box I'm going to look at is one I have opened with you guys before and it's a box from my son and it's called Scrawler Box and it's an artist's box. Now, this box here is £15 a month and it's packed, absolutely stuffed full of art supplies for art connoisseurs. So if you, even if you're like a seasoned artist and you love art and you, or a hobby and you just enjoy art as an adult, or even if you're like a budding sort of teenager um, or, or older child and you just really, really love art, this these, this box is amazing. I wouldn't give it to like young kids. I wouldn't buy it for young kids because they just would, it would go to waste really. You know, Crayola all the way there. But here, if you've got like an older child, teenager or even an adult who loves art, this is such a fab box. Now, what they do is every month they will theme it around a particular type of art. They will... Um, commission a particular artist to uh, sort of do artwork for the box they'll give you a bit of details about the artist and they'll give you so much stuff to do with that medium so here we go here is that this is it this month now it's always really nicely wrapped the art supplies let me see and they also give you a, they always give you a sweetie Ooh, 
drumsticks shoes i love drumsticks do you remember them as a kid i also remember wham bars do you remember wham bars were like bright oh god good old 80s when people didn't worry about e numbers and additives do you remember those wham bars were bright pink and they were so chewy like you would chew them they would stick your teeth together but they were so so nice okay so here we go we've got scroller zine june 2020 so i love this box actually i might even use this stuff but i just love looking at all the things and it says here um okay I'm trying to see where it says what the box is. So this is what's all, all contained in the box this month. We've got 12 sheets of watercolour paper. So this must be a watercolour box, is it? I don't know what I'm talking about with art. So watercolour paper. We've got a lovely print by the artist. This is gorgeous, actually. I quite like this. I might keep that, that for myself to put it up somewhere because it's really pretty. Alice Coles, Aka, hello Alice. I'm Alice, I'm a watercolour mixed media artist living in beautiful Colorado. I make YouTube videos focus on educational, motivating content for aspiring and intermediate artists. In my spare time, I love to travel, read and spend time with my border collie, December. I love that. That's beautiful. Um, so you get the, your watercolour sheets. You also get, now, and it says here, Derwent Special Collection for scrawler box let's have a look and see what this is i actually bought my son because he was getting all these art supplies with scrawler box i didn't just want them kicking around his room and getting lost i actually bought him an art supplies box from amazon it was really nice it was a bit like a toolbox actually but for art supplies so he could put all his things in and, and so they wouldn't get um lost he's actually oh, i can't believe it he's going up to first year at the academy the big school this year <laughs> he's going to be turning 12 and um in October I just can't believe that it seems all mums will say the same it feels to me like you know he's just started primary one you know and uh, you know just little but he's, he's gonna be 12 so this will be I think he really wants to do art at, at secondary school so or set so, so here we go we've got a selection of I take it these are kind of watercolor crayons maybe some of you know a bit more about art can tell me a little bit more about those Um. so they are it says here, use me like a pan. Multi-use blocks, draw straight, wet, dry, wash, paint, so many little different effects from multiple blocks. So there's just some ideas there of things that you can do with it. The other thing we've got in here is something else. We've got, ooh, what's, what are these? We've got a little pack of things here. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> So it gives you, oh, this is all the stuff it tells you. I always forget to look at this little card. So we've also got, they always give us a little sticker. And so it says here, halfway through, uh, halfway through what has turned out to be a very strange year and we wanted to give you some tools to help distract you from the world outside for a while and explore something new. This month we have, we have provided you some water-based art materials that are a little different from what you might normally use. Take some time out to explore the supplies, the inspiration included to take on the scrawler challenge. You've probably heard this question before, if you were an animal, what would you be? But what if the animal did not exist yet? Or what if you combine two or more different animals? Have fun playing around with this idea and see what exciting spirit animal you can create that represents you best. Uh, it says here, the Derwent in 10 ink tense blocks. Derwent ink tense blocks are highly versatile, water soluble pigments which creates a vivid ink-like medium which when combined with a little water once dried after application ink tents becomes permanent which enables you to work over the dry areas without affecting the original layers of colour. These satisfyingly chunk block, chunky blocks produce vibrant and saturated colours that are extremely adaptable and can be used for a wide range of creative effects. You can use them like pans of paint with a wet brush to gather the pigment or dip the blocks directly into water to apply saturated colour to paper. They can also be used to dry use dry or apply to wet wash paper for instantly vibrant intense colour. Wow, those are cool. They look really nice actually. They look very nice. And then the next thing you got it said was a Karen Ashe Prismola pencil. And it says here Pr Prismalo pencils have been a stable for illustrators and artists alike with their highly durable yet fine leads. Delicate details can be achieved with precision and ease. Adding water to the pigmented lead helps you to like really transform your work using it as a watercolour pigment. Oh wow, so you can use this just like as a pencil but as like a watercolour. 
to track, create washes and mix colours. This watercolour pencil is ideal for exact details as well as hatching and watercolour techniques. I have no idea what hatching technique is. I thought that was something eggs did. <laughs> the lead is surrounded by quality cedar wood and the barrel is designed with a hexagonal shape to prevent rolling or slipping in your hand. Okay, so it's that one. And then what we else we've got is a sea white synthetic round brush. So that's it there. Obviously you must have to wet it before it shape. So it says here, the sleek looking synthetic paintbrush is the ideal instrument for acrylics, watercolour and ink medium supplies. It has soft and flexible bristles that are densely packed, making it great for holding water and dispersing pigment. It is very reliable and resilient and adaptable brush and makes perfect addition for an artist. And the last thing you got here, which I was quite intrigued by because I don't know what this is. It's like a little pen. And it says here it is a Jelly Roll 08 white pen. It says the Sakura Jelly Roll pen is the world's best gel writer. Thanks to ink with water-based pigment, it ensures smooth results without the need to apply pressure and it will leave even defined lines whenever you draw. This pen is chemical resistant, waterproof, bleed free and quick drying so there will be no smears, feathers or bleed through on your creations. And obviously the sea white paper it said it is sea white paper, it's superb acid free paper, it's suitable for watercolour printing and all wet material. It is heavyweight in texture that gives it fantastic results. So it's interesting that, you know, like, you know, there's all these different types of paper for art that I wasn't aware of that you use for particular things. So it gives you tips there, it gives you a bit about the artist there, who is the inspiration for the box and some of her, her paintings and pictures. It says here some tips from the artist about how to use the materials and um, other things to try it's fab actually if you're a budding artist this is fab some scroller gallery i think this is from last from the april box you send in you can get featured can you win anything I'm not sure if you can win something maybe you can and then it gives you some other information there okay so that is the boxes for this it's been a long video so well done if you've made it till the end of the video. If you're interested in subscribing to any of these uh, boxes, I will drop down the links down below. And indeed, if you're, you know, if I do have any discount codes, I don't think I've got discount codes for all of them. But if I do have a discount code, I will leave it down below to give you some money off. Okay, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.